Mercedes strategist James Vaz said that one's on us as a team apology to Lewis Hamilton on his in-lap of the French Grand Prix this weekend. But did Mercedes actually make a mistake and gift the win to Red Bull and Verstappen? Or could they have taken the win themselves with a more aggressive strategy? First thing to say is that there were a few more unknowns going into this race with the higher tyre pressure requirements from Pirelli. As we know, managing tyres in F1 is critical and changes like this really affect how quickly the tyres wear out. In fact, the teams were surprised by just how quickly the tyres degraded during the French Grand Prix and that's what made it such a thriller. In short, I think this was a bit of a missed opportunity for Mercedes. However, even if they had gone about things differently, it would have by no means meant a victory. Firstly, we saw that the strategy from Red Bull was aggressive and confident. I really feel they believe the car is now as strong, if not stronger, than the Mercedes, even on the more traditional circuits like at Paul Ricard. This is something that they perhaps didn't believe back in Barcelona this year. Aside from his mistake on the first lap, Max Verstappen drove incredibly well, especially around the first pit stop where he undercut Hamilton, taking a huge amount of time out of him before overtaking him as Hamilton exited the pit lane. The undercut here was absolutely massive and Mercedes still seem like they're not exactly sure how they lost so much time. But let's move forward to the period of the race where Mercedes could have done something different. During the second stint, Hamilton was speaking with the team, encouraging them to do an undercut. He could feel his tyres grip falling away. However, Red Bull with Verstappen pulled the plug and pitted on lap 32 for a second time. And as soon as they did that, it was too late for Mercedes. If they had pitted, Verstappen would have already done at least one lap on the fast medium tire. And so Hamilton would have remained in second position. Of course, this put Verstappen over 20 seconds behind Hamilton and he still needed a perfect stint to catch and pass Perez, Bottas and Hamilton. And it was exactly that. Verstappen timed the stint to perfection. From a driver's perspective, it would be so easy to see the red mist and push as hard as possible from the get-go, only to destroy your tyres before the job is done. It actually looked like Verstappen had taken too much from his tyres around lap 44, where the gap to Hamilton equalised, but he continued on and went on to the win. This restraint goes to show the absolute quality and now maturity of Max Verstappen. I have to say it feels like the championship is now swinging on the side of Red Bull, as it looks like they may have a car that is quicker over the season. If you want to see how fast F1 cars are compared to IndyCar, F2 and GTs, check out this video where we do just that. Otherwise, check out this other video that I think you'll love. Please consider subscribing to Drive61 and I'll see you next time.